200 days ago, I put nothing but soil in a jar to see what would grow. I am going to show what plants and animals emerge and how the jar evolves over time. Yes, you really clicked on a video about dirt in a jar, but now you have committed and you have to sit through it and I promise you are not going to regret it. I already made a video about the first 100 days, but I'm going to give a quick recap. The first plants bearded day 4, you probably need help finding it. Well, there is one pathetic plant. And here is another one. On day 10, the first moss started growing. Moss is one of the most important plants in terrariums. They absorb the water directly from the air, without roots. On day 13 and day 16, you can see something spectacular, namely my shitty camera work. And this grass. A lot of you pointed out that I missed an animal on day 19, and you were right. This is a millipede. How do I know this? Just trust me bro. On day 30, the plants are getting bigger and the moss is starting to expand. From now on, the jar was changing fast. Only 10 days later, almost the whole surface was covered by moss and algae. As most of you know, day 50 was the most important day. Not only did the plants look great, but this was the day our main man Bob appeared. For the people that don't know, this is Bob. A crane fly. Adult crane flies only live for two or three days. They don't eat and they only live to find a mate and procreate. So unless Bob got it on with the millipede, he died with blue balls. But I don't think so. Wait, Bob, you dog. Day 73 was a sad day because this is the day I found Bob's body. He will serve as plant food now. Subscribe now to pay your respects to Bob. This was a jar at day 100. And it changed a lot in the next 100 days. On day 100, I also found another animal besides Bob and the millipede. This springtail. Springtails are tiny animals that eat mold and decaying matter, so these will help clean the terrarium. On day 130, even some plants had enough of my shit, and part of them started dying. This is actually a good thing. They will serve as food for the animals, and will release their nutrients back into the soil for other plants. On day 160, the jar started to look like a jungle. A shitty one, but still, a jungle. When I was filming this part, I noticed something new I hadn't seen before. This grass started forming reproductive organs. That means that even this plant is getting more action than you. This is day 175. The jar is looking healthy, but because the plants are covering the whole jar, I haven't seen any animals in a while. What I did see was this other plant that started forming flowers. And I'm sorry to tell you, but that means that at least two plants are getting more action than you. Also the grass is still forming more reproductive organs. So what you're looking at here is basically a grass penis. You're welcome. For day 200, I tried to make cool speed effect. Safe to say, I failed. The jar looked good though. The plants will probably keep growing. Some will die and others will take their place. The moss will take over the jar more and more and will eventually grow to the top. Some of you might want to try this yourself and I will explain how you can do this quickly. To make a jar of dirt, you need a jar. There is a link in the description for a jar like this. Step 2, get dirt. And step 3 is the hardest, so listen carefully. Put dirt in jar. I know, not easy. First time I got my head stuck in the jar too. I will keep you guys updated if something new happens with the jar. But don't click off yet, I still have an announcement. I have a new patron, first name Joe, second name Mama. No I'm kidding, my real new patron is Chris. And Chris gets a huntsman since he's from Australia. Thank you to all patrons. For the people that have an attention span of longer than 8 minutes. Here is a video of me failing to make a tiny forest in a jar. Thank you for watching.